A paid liar. That is how the House Republican leading these investigations into this IRS mess described White House Press Secretary Jay Carney. And now former White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs is demanding that Darrell Ice apologize. Says he's offended and shocked. Apparently not so by a White House that has said very little, if anything, about what all of these scandals at the IRS, the Justice Department, and Health and Human Services that have left us in shock. Isn't that the real story here? And probably the real sorry commentary here to Scotty Nell Hughes and John Kabatek and Kristen Dorsey. Time to beam someone up, Scotty. What do you think? Well, it's become quite obvious that Jay Carney is paid by this administration to lie to the American people. No, 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 but, no, 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 no. You're just compounding the sin here. Now, well, lie is a strong word. We don't know what really the administration knew and when it knew it. But hold on, let's look at this. We've got three direct lies that have happened. First, the IRS. Jay Carney lied on behalf of the Department of Treasury, saying that the IRS scandal just started and ended with those in Cincinnati. Truth is, it obviously goes much higher. A lowest learner wouldn't have But could have taken you argue that he was just ignorant of that? Didn't know that. Well, then we need to have some better communication going on. But Fair you enough. know what? Fine. If that was just on its own. But now we've got line number two that he was paid by the State Department, that the Benghazi talking points were never edited. When the truth is, it's obvious that these were painted, repainted by the Hillary the people to make sure that everything looked quite better than what the truth actually was. Right, then you I... got line number three that he was paid by the Department of Justice that Eric Holder never knew anything about journalists being targeted when the truth was. Helder saw, uh, signed off on the warrant to target James Rosen himself. The biggest gotcha. lie of all of this, okay. in all honesty, Neil, See, I, is that I, this is the most transparent administration. All right, well, Scotty, I would get him on the, the this haircut doesn't cost me more than $10 thing. That is a direct lie. I will say <laughs> that. But I'm, I'm kidding here. But, uh, John, I'm just wondering, do Republicans with language like that, even whether they deem it appropriate or not, hurt their cause when they go so clearly for the jugular, maybe with clear frustration, with clear reason, but then did they look, okay, this is all about a political kill here. Yeah, well, there's no question, Neil. I mean, you know, people are so frustrated and they lack so much trust in government to begin with. These scandals don't help at all, but these are like, like little children on a schoolyard squabbling and fighting, you know. I think while all the while, while we hear all of these politicians in Washington squabbling and fighting and nitpicking, um, small business owners continue to struggle and suffer and lose jobs. Regulations that aren't re being removed, that we're not seeing taxes going down. All we're seeing are these, these fights and these little squabbles when we should be seeing Washington stop doing the bad stuff and frankly we should stop these scandals and th these scandals just don't help with the trust that we're trying to hopefully restore someday on Main Street it's just crazy Christian then let me flip it around do you think when a former top administration officials in the name of Robert Gibbs says that Darrell Issa should apologize uh, he he reawakens folks to the need well maybe anyone in the administration should apologize for foisting these scandals on us whether with their deliberate imprint or not that they should apologize to the American people for just having us going through this. Yeah, but remember, Neil, part of the reason these are scandals in the first place is because Daryl Issa has told us before the evidence demonstrates it that these are scandals. And when well, repeatedly I, I think we're uh, past asked the, but to back it Christian, up. We're past the point where what the IRS was and doing and expanding to some 90 agents. No, the, but We're the scandal is part, Neil, scandal, is whether right? or not this comes from, but this is, this is whether or not it comes from the White House. That's the scandal as part of it. And, and Daryl Issa has but alleged that But this is an agency that, that, that reports the to the Treasury that reports to the White House. Now, you're but, right. But, Neil, we, a, we wait, all, wait, listen. I'm just saying. What's good for the goose can't be good for the gander, right? In other words, if that behavior, calling someone a liar, is offensive, then, then, then leaving out or not, not asking for answers from the White House is just as offensive, right? Well, no, we want answers from the White House. And remember, Daryl Issa is, is in charge of a committee that serves a critical role in our checks and balances system. And he should take that responsibility seriously and let the evidence speak for itself. But what he's done over and over again is he's promised that the evidence says one thing when, in fact, it says quite another. That's irresponsible. Well, we don't know what the evidence says. We, all we know is that it just mushrooms. So, well, Scotty, I think to that point, can we just stop the name calling and just get back to evidence that, to your point, Scotty, does seem to implicate certainly more individuals than we know, whether it goes all the way up to the White House, I have no idea. But I will say this, that, that, that we are getting shifting stories, and shouldn't that be the focus of Republicans, not to start calling people names? But, you know, here's the deal. We're not talking about a scandal like Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky doesn't affect the American people. 
where these are more than just scandals. These are absolute infringements on people's rights. And people have lost their lives, as in the case of Benghazi. So whether you're talking about the First Amendment and the freedom of the press, which was infringed by, by a lie told by, J by Carney and Eric Holder, whether you're talking about Lois Lerner, a targeting and using of people's money and the economy, all three of these scandals are right. more than just in their meets their eye, things that need to be on a soap opera. These okay. are people actually being targeted and lives being infringed. All right, and all right, being all right. infringed. I wish I could just try to get, get back to, to something else there, but I do, I do want to get you all back. In the meantime, Scotty, I'm going to go ahead and put you on a maybe on this administration. I'm going to put you down for that. Uh, when we come back,